Good day LEGO Western fans, Down Under Bricks here. Today, we're going to be having a look at the full Western Town layout. So there's going to be no building today, no changes. We're going to do a full tour of the whole Western Town. Now I have done a number of changes since the last update, so we're going to check all that out and we'll talk about things that I want to do in the future. But I think we'll start with a bit of a scenic tour. Let's go. Okay, let's start with what's new. So I have finished off the mountain. So I put in this new peak, 
which I really love. <laughs> it looks like it's just about to collapse. So yeah, I had to change up a few different things there to get the look that I wanted, but I've, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. And then I did have enough pieces left over for a little peek on that back corner there. And I just think the whole thing together, it just really adds, adds to it, gives it a bit more depth. So you can see how I move this peak over to give me room for the gold mine. And I made the changes. I did do a short video just giving a big thank you to everybody that made suggestions for the gold mine. But really love how that turned out. The corner of the river here, I finally got those pieces in and made some new rocks coming out of the water. And I have put all the studs around that to have the water coming off the edge. And of course, the Indian camp. So we've got some Indians there doing a bit of fishing, just chilling out by the water's edge. And a few different scenes here. Doing a bit of a cook up, taking the fish over. Yeah, cook up a bit of a feed. I've had these guys, they're, they're being off on a bit of a bit of a hunt. Got a bit of a trophy there. <laughs> and here we have the Indian chief and his wife. And we've got a couple other Indians here that have come into the camp and they're offering a gift to the chief. A couple of young braves here decide they're going to try and climb the mountain. He's off to a pretty good start. <laughs> I have moved all these plates over and started to raise them all up. So I've come up quite high there. It doesn't really seem that I've come up high, but that's probably um, probably about five bricks high using bricks and plates. Some different levels. Now this area isn't finished. What do you think this might be? Is This is a bit of a hint right here. This is going to be Boot Hill. So this is probably going to be the next thing that I do. So I might just shoot, if you're interested, I might just shoot a little quick video when I get my Boot Hill graveyard finished. So that's going to be next. As I've said, I want to put a ranch here. So here we have our ranches surveying the land and working out where they're going to put their ranch so that's going to come at some stage got to have a little bit of a break for a while just to um put some money back in the kitty <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure what's going to be that. Like, definitely the graveyard. So if you want to see that, let me know. But other than that, I'll, I'll probably have a little pause on the western town just for a little bit. Now, I did move things around. And I moved the Undertaker down to here next to the train station. So I'll just show you the train station quickly. And the train running through town. We have the Undertaker and his hearse wagon. We've got the blacksmith. A little bit hard to see in there. With his forge. I have done videos on most of these buildings, so if you if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, just um 
have a look at my Western Town playlist and you can check out a lot of these buildings and have a look at the inside so uh, yeah you're not might not supposed to see that so let's let's not mention the DeLorean <laughs> Couple of Mexicans. A man with no name. He's hanging out. He's always looking for a fight. <laughs> now, it does look a bit patchy throughout the layout. And that's because I haven't really worked on the terrain. These plates were from different areas in the old western town. So I've got to pull a lot of this up and, and redo the whole... The whole sort of... Um, landscaping I guess so yeah still lots of work to be done there and of course the town before we move down the town I'll just have a talk about some of the things I want to put in now I've always talked about a church now I really need to do a church I've actually got all the designs in my head I just need to um, basically be able to buy all the parts because I don't really have the parts I need to build it so yeah so that one I am going to have to push that back just because it has cost me quite a bit to do the mountains and the ranch is it's really on my, the forefront of my mind too I'd, I'd love to do the ranch I'm going to do a gunsmith now I think I should have enough parts to do the gunsmith so I'll probably do that next just because I do have the parts and if I don't have all the parts it's not going to cost me much to to finish it off. So on this side of the town of course we have a bank, the general store and the sheriff, the sheriff's office, the jailhouse. We have the saloon. I'd love to put another saloon in the western town so that's going to happen at some stage down the track on this side of the street we have our newspaper we have another bank and the post office and to round it all out down the end of the street we have our grand hotel in the barber and that is the western town so yeah lots of things I still want to do but yeah there's plenty of time no rush <laughs> I think I need to probably look at fixing up some of the landscaping just to tie it all in some of the plain plates here just to help tie it all in a little bit more definitely a lot more room for buildings along here so I'll probably if I build some bigger buildings I'll move these ones these smaller buildings to the front row and put some bigger buildings so another another saloon church somewhere I think in the church there but if I build another saloon but no can I have two saloons right next to each other probably can <laughs> and of course Delivery, I don't think I said, so we've got delivery there. And of course the fort. And down to the river and the mountains, of course the river ferry is unloading some passengers. And I'm going to have it where this is the entrance into the city. So if you're coming via wagon, you're going to have to come in this way into town. The main drag will come down here, cross the rail line, come back over and run right down the centre of town and then go back out the end there. But of course, if you want to take a shortcut through the mountains by horse of course <laughs> you can come through the mountain valley down into the western town 
So that's it guys, let me know what you think. Again, ideas, I love hearing the ideas that you folks have, so yeah, anything you got to say, any suggestions, please put it in the comments. Like I said, you know, there's things I'm working on in the future. Uh, another saloon, that would be right down the track, but in the immediate future, you know, I, I have to look at the gunsmith, Boot Hill Graveyard, a ranch house, and a church. I think they're the, the next few buildings I need to look at adding to the western town. But yeah, don't be shy. Shoot me some ideas. Let me know what you think. What do you like? What do you love? What do you hate? You know, it's all good. It's all good. Put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the mountains now that they're all finished. And of course, the Indian camp's all new as well. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this tour of the Western Town. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. If you want to see what changes happen to this Western Town in the future, you've got to be subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I always forget to mention that one, but yeah, why not? While you're there, ring the bell. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me. It's not a huge passion for people, Lego Western, but it's a passion of mine, and I love sharing it with like-minded people. So big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.